Okay, so wanted to show you this little garden box that I built out of pallets and how and talk through how I did it. Um, didn't actually film it as I did it, which is unfortunate, but I'll at least talk you through um, what I did because it's actually really easy and makes for either a low cost or essentially no cost um, garden box. Man, it looks kind of cool. So um, these boards here, those are the the like the main horizontal boards on the top of the pallet, right? Um, so I just took those off. Their length was fine. They're, so I didn't have to cut them at all. Um, so I have three of those. And then um, on each side, so that makes six. And then I had technically four of those down here um, on the bottom. Then what I did was with other of those, what I'd, I did have to saw these off, you can kind of see, to make them shorter so that the width of the box was a little more um, manageable. And I didn't have power tools, so I just had to like take my own little miter saw that I have and made it work. Um, so those were the sides, which gave me essentially the box part. These um, pieces here for the legs, were um, the the thicker support pieces of the pallet itself, um, and then if there is a complicated part, which there really isn't, but if there were, um, it'd be this part below here. So what I did is that these under belly boards have to have some kind of support, right? And right now the the um, dirt that I have in there with the the starters isn't too heavy. You can see it doesn't even really bend. Um, I imagine though that when I just fill it full of dirt come um, outside planting time, that might be a different story and I might have to put like a, a support here. But, so what I did is these boards for the legs, that's actually not, let me stand up again. That's not the actual length of the board for the pallet. Um, it was probably more like this high, so I, I sawed that off so that the table was like a normal size. And then I took that other piece and used it for support for this board. So what I did is I had these, and then I took this, which I had to saw off an, of another pallet for the width, and I nailed this one down to this one first. Uh, and then the oh, same thing over here so that I have my piece and then I put them together in between the legs and then nailed this one to that so that now this board these boards could rest on those um, it took a little bit of finagling as it was just myself and kind of figuring it out and making it stand and work but it wasn't too bad I probably spent um, I don't know, like three or four nights, a half an hour each, I mean a, an hour and a half each, so probably like four to five hours total tops on this little thing. But really what took me so long was because I didn't have any power tools, and um, if you had something to cut these boards um, a little bit faster, it, it would take no time at all. Um, and I use just what I had, so these are actually roofing nails. Um, and then I had some some longer nails that I did for these legs, getting these together. So that's how I built this. It's a low cost, potentially free way of doing it because lots of warehouses will just toss their pallets out for people to come get. Um, and it's a really easy, kind of cool looking use of wood for that. So hope that helps.